What's going on guys? So we are back here at the e-trailer event. We're gonna do part two of the fifth wheel hitch overviews because we're showing you a bunch of different fifth wheel hitches, different styles. And uh, yeah, we kind of ran out of time in the first video and we wanted to make a second video out of this to be as comprehensive as possible and uh, not make a video that was too drawn out. So we're gonna take a look at some of the Kurt products and some of the other products that are on the market as well. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so the Kurt booth is actually a very popular place right now, so we're going to let them finish up their presentation there. And uh, Laser took me back over here to the fifth wheel hitches because this specific hitch is the one you pointed out earlier as being the most popular hitch that you guys sell. Yep. Can you explain why? Big reason, it's the least expensive one that we carry. Okay. It fits all industry standard rails. It's rated up to 16,000 pounds. It's an easy locking system. A little hard with it sliding, of course, but... Basically, you pull this, jaws open, slide in, lock it. So it's an easy system to use. It's relatively light, so it's easy to take out of your bed. And yeah, with it being the least expensive one that we carry, it's definitely our most popular one that we sell. So do you get a lot of people that, that call in and they specifically are looking for the least expensive fifth wheel hitch they can get? Yep. And, and how does that conversation typically go? I'd hate to So it to usually ask, starts but... with, I'm new to this. A lot of people that are new to it are going to be buying something smaller. They're not going to be going with a huge thing because they've never done it before. So they want to start with something small, get used to it, and then upgrade from there. So this is an extremely good place to start with it being inexpensive, light, and rated up to 16,000 pounds. That's where a lot a lot of the new campers that people are going to be pulling are going to be under that weight capacity, and it's, it's a great place to start. Okay, so that's usually where it is. So if you are looking at starting with the fifth wheel hitch and potentially knowing that you're gonna to go to something different later. Mm -hmm. For me, from a price point perspective, even, even if this is half the price, I kind of subscribe to that whole buy once, cry once thing. I do you agree. Know? I definitely agree. Not everyone agrees with us. Yeah. But even with this, even if you do upgrade your camper, if it's still under 16K, that's still a great hitch for it. That's true, and there's a lot of campers that are under 16K, so yep. that's the thing. And, and you know, just to have that option, and then they have even larger options. So mm -hmm. you could go from, like, the Kurt to the Reese 27K. That's a that's a beast, beast right there. It's beefy. And I think a mistake I made in a previous video mm -hmm. was this one actually is designed to, to be closed, and you just back into this, it slides mm -hmm. it open and locks it shut on top of mm -hmm. the actual kingpin. So this is, from a, a coupling perspective, this is a fully automatic Hitch Correct. system. Yeah, and this one is technically it is for the puck system, so you wouldn't be able to use industry standard rails. But yeah, it's an extremely one to hook up to because you don't have to worry about messing with any of this. You do want to come out and of course put your pin in afterwards, but yeah, you just back into it and it locks in and it's you're good to go. That's very cool. And then one other thing I wanted to look at here real quick before we head over to the the Kurt booth is they have this really interesting display here, and this display actually shows you the spacing in the bed of the various different puck systems from Ford, GM, and Ram. So you can see Ram spreads the footprint out. Yeah, yeah it's a huge footprint, and it spreads it out. Um, the only thing I don't like about that is no matter what you do, you're going to have something big in the bed of your truck. Right, yeah. It's yeah, huge. There's not much room for anything else with that. Exactly. And then Ford has Ford, honestly, um, you know, the difference between the Ford and the GM, it's small, but there's still a relatively significant difference in terms of the footprint width. And then you see GM, who has two different types here, 2020 and up, and uh, also 2016 through 2019, which is really important because if you're upgrading from a 2019 truck to a newer 2020 and up, you're not going to be able to use the same base okay. to mount in the truck. The puck system's not going to align. A lot of times you will be able to use the same head, though, because a lot of them are interchangeable. You just basically have to replace your base and you're good to go. Exactly. So if you look at something, let me see what I'm I'm trying to find here. I know with, with Kurt. Definitely the Reese you can't Yep, use. the Reese. Basically what he's talking about is these right here are independent of the center portion right here. And you can unbolt this from the center portion. Kurt does a lot of that as well right. on their higher end products. So you don't have to replace this whole thing. You just need to call them and order the new wings that would actually lock into the puck system on your truck. Correct, and actually all the BMW or BMWs are like that as well. You basically, you can keep your head, just replace your base and you're good. And you probably save almost half the price I'd yeah. imagine or more. Yeah, Very usually cool. the base is actually a little bit more than the head, but not by a whole lot. So yeah, it's. You're saving quite a bit of money if you can do that. Very cool. Well, let's and head over. And last forever too, so. Yeah, let's head over to the Kurt area and look at that new, uh, the new hitch they Absolutely. have over there. Okay, so we have two fifth wheel hitches in the Kurt area that we're gonna take a close look at. The first one is their new Power Ride. Check that out, 30K. 
That, that's insane. Yeah, it's for well, fifth wheel hitch. with trucks being the way they are now, they someone needed to do it. Yep, you're absolutely right. And I believe they actually had this installed at some of the uh, drive events where they're trying to showcase some of these new trucks mm -hmm. and what they're capable of towing. So yeah, it's, it's insane. It really is. And from a cosmetic perspective, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit, this is probably one of the best looking fifth wheel hitches I've seen. I agree. It actually almost looks like it's kind of stealth. Yep. And this is what we were talking about before. So if you get a different truck you don't have to replace the entire assembly. This center portion right here where it's bolted in place is universal. Mm -hmm. The wings that lock it into your vehicle are what, what's gonna be different, unless you have the industry standard rails that are in your truck, and then you can just simply use this setup in any truck with those universal right. rails. And these actually look like the universal rail legs as well. Very cool, and they, they actually are. Yeah. So up here, uh, one of the advantages, what's that? Oh wow, <laughs> 40K max. That is intense. Right here, you got your uh, loop plate already loop plate in place. In, which is kind of nice. You don't have to worry about finding one separately. And these are replaceable as well. It, 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 they feel like they would have to be because they, they they feel like they're regular plastic. They are. They're still pretty sturdy. We haven't had oh, any they have to be. yet. But. Yeah, that's crazy. And then you have your fully encompassed jaws here. So they lock completely around the kingpin. The handle right here is going to pull out. And then once you go in, this should auto lock as well. So it's going to basically, this back portion will stick out. And then once the kingpin hits it, it locks it into place. And then you have your safety pin. If you can't drop your safety pin in, something's wrong. Agreed. That means you've got to do something. You have to fix some, some aspect of how you've hitched up. One of the cool things about this is it's all, like, the whole head unit is resting on this right here. So this is a relatively heavy setup to take it apart. Pop the pin out back here, pull that out, head off, legs off, easier to remove. Yep, very cool. And then the other part too that's really nice is the ease of adjusting it to different bed heights. So you have four different adjustment holes right here. Mm -hmm. This entire assembly, um, when I spoke with Kurt, they said that it is a welded assembly as well as a cast assembly. So most of this is all cast, but then there's certain parts down here mm -hmm. that are actually welded and they're cast. But to have a 30,000 pound rating and to be able to back it up with all the SAE standards, that's yeah. the key. You can build a hitch, but to actually be able to meet the claims that are made by the manufacturer and pass all the engineering tests to ensure that it does it safely, I think they said it's like a thousand or a million cycles. It's Some, something, something like that. Yeah, yeah it's some it's crazy number. Intense. Yep, but that is really cool. All right, let's go check out the, uh, the last one over here. Okay, so we're at the Kurt area still. We got Keith with us. He is a product expert on this thing. So this is a new Kurt Crosswing fifth wheel hitch. This is really cool and this is super innovative. And we're ending with this specific hitch in this segment because it's the most unique fifth wheel hitch that's out here. Yes. Far none, it's, it's game changing. It's game changer, it really is. So I would love for you to walk us through this and explain, just go over it. Show us everything you know about it. Okay, so basically uh, what we wanted to do is we wanted to create a product because uh, Kurt on the innovative side is we're always bringing in new innovative products to the market. Uh, what's really unique about this is this unit is, the main body is only 60 pounds. It's all steel construction, uh, three adjustment points that take you basically from 16 and 3 eighths to I believe it's 20 and 3 eighths on your adjustment points. Okay. Uh, the unique feature about it is the pin alignment on it as well. Uh, so basically once you release the handle, this unit attaches to the king pin. So once this is attached to the king pin, we also use a loop plate, a loop plate on it. And this is allowed to rotate on the, the pivot point. Um, so this then, is still your pivot point? Yes, okay. yeah, it's still your pivot point because this is actually going to lock in. So what's unique about it is the angle of being able to lock into this and then dropping the weight off the legs so that your trailer will be locked into place on the trailer. The other unique feature about it is we've incorporated shock drop technology. Our shock drop technology uh, helps eliminate uh, the chucking that you're going to get, it helps eliminate noise. It breaks that connection between the truck and the trailer to give it a nice, smooth operation as well. Where is that and located that is on here? located underneath the, this section right in here. Okay. And what it does, it allows that head to rotate back, up and back to help break that connection and to eliminate, uh, some to help eliminate wheel chucking as well. Very cool. So this is rated at 20,000 pounds towing. So that is really cool. To your kingpin permanently, correct? Yes. Now, That's well, it's it's permanently, uh, but you can remove it pretty quick right. because we're just using two standard 5H bolts with lock nuts on it. And what's cool about this as well is that it still gives you your rotation. 
Correct. So it's not as if that has to be fixed in place and then clamped in place. You're Correct. not you're not you're not essentially clamping that to your your kingpin. You're simply putting two bolts in that hold it in place and it's still going to rotate. So you can you can get really creative with how you hitch up to your fifth wheel or something like that. Yes, That's really cool. Creative. And it helps at you know, different angles when you're hooking up to if the, if the trailer's on a different angle than the truck. So okay. the alignment makes it really simplistic. All right, so from a mounting perspective, um, you, I believe you have two different mountings, right? You have one where you can connect it to a goose ball, and then you also have the industry rails that you can connect the, the to. The ISR rail system is the only one available at this time. We are working on what we call the single point, which will attach to an industry gooseneck ball. So okay. if a customer has a gooseneck in their vehicle, they'll be able to attach it. The other unique thing about it is, if you've noticed the offset on this from the center point of the hitch and the rail system to where the head locks down, you're looking at a five inch offset, still carrying the weight over the axle where it belongs. But this is gonna give you five inches more distance uh, between the cab of the vehicle and the trailer. So it's gonna give you that extra comfort level to get that extra clearance that you have in there. Oh, that is now when we cool. go to the single point system, uh, the single point system actually will attach on the back side. And don't quote me exactly, but I believe the single point system will actually give you eight inches of extended clearance. Uh, while keeping the pin weight over the axle where it belongs. That's awesome. And uh, I'm only going to say this because I know people are going to ask. Um, currently, there's no option for puck mounting in trucks equipped with a puck system. Correct. And that's where the single point comes in because if you have a puck system in your vehicle, you've already got a gooseneck hitch and you've already got the mounting points for your fifth wheel hitch. So with the puck system uh, and having the goose ball already, the single point will fit that need without having to add the extra weight to a, a standard style hitch. Awesome. Are there any issues putting it onto like an adapt like a puck adapter? I'm sorry. Any issues with putting it onto like a puck adapter? No, you should be fine. If you want to use like a pitcher pitcher frame style, you can drop it in as, as long yeah. as it's an ISR system. And what he's referring to is there's an adapter that can actually give you these rails but it mounts into a puck system on the different truck manufacturers. So you can have your industry standard rails, which is that ISR that you keep hearing, and you can mount this system into the rails that then mounts into the puck system in your RV. So very, very cool setup. This is this is revolutionary. It's really cool. I'm, I'm going to be excited to, uh, to kind of see this in action a little bit more and get feedback from folks who have used it. Excellent. Awesome. Keith, thank you again for your time. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. Guys, we're going to keep looking at more of the booths out here, taking a look at some really innovative products. I found one that's really going to blow you away. It's almost revolutionary in a game-changing way, and it's way over there. We're going to look at it in another video, so definitely take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we're going to talk to you again very soon.